All new on the WHS 11 night team, your voice, your vote tonight. Several local Republicans running for office in November came together at the Jefferson Memorial Forest here in the Fairdale area. It all comes as future elections for Louisville mayor and Metro Council will be nonpartisan. That'll mean that there will be no R or a D by their names when you vote. WHS 11 night team's Alexandra Goldberg and photojournalist Aspen Hester have the reaction. Under the canopy of the Jefferson Memorial Forest, Louisville's Republican Party gathered one last time before Election Day. The only way things get done are closer to the 50-yard line. In the news this week, top headlines from Louisville's Democratic Mayor Craig Greenberg, car crushing for convicted street racers, and a mask ban, bringing back old 1983 legislation in hopes to deter crime. A slate of Republican Metro Council candidates react. State Representative Kevin Bratcher nods his head to car crushing. Right now I am for crushing the cars, but I, just like the other things, I'm ready to listen to the debate. Crystal Bass, candidate for Metro Council District 14 and Marilyn Parker, Metro Councilwoman in District 18 on the mask mandate. First step is using the laws and organizations that we already have in place and actually following through with those. Yes, I do support it. Now, I think there will be uh, exemptions for people with health issues. Despite seeing eye to eye on these topics, at least so far, Louisville's Republicans say they'll field a candidate for mayor in 2026 to face off with Greenberg seeking reelection. Look, we're going to work hard to ensure that there are some good conservative alternatives to the current administration. But for the first time, that election will also be a nonpartisan race, a major difference for Louisville voters. Unfortunately, that was a decision that was made made by Republican legislators in Frankfurt without the support of many of the legislators that actually live in Louisville. Louisville Democratic Party Chair Logan Gaddy noted the new change itself was partisan, supported primarily by Republicans in the State House. For now, both parties are focused on flipping seats next month. In Fairdale, Alexandra Goldberg, WHS 11 Night Team, on your side.